Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a loading animation in PowerPoint. It's just lagging a little bit because I don't want this. Okay, so I have a lot of beautiful backgrounds because I just got it from my computer. It was already there. So first we're going to go and do a right click and then we're going to click on Format Background. Then going to do Insert from File. First we've got to um, click on Picture or Texture Fill insert picture so I have um, a lot of cool backgrounds that I got from the computer it was inbuilt so um yeah so these are the ones I'm gonna this one's my favorite so what we are going to do is like little circles that I'm going to make. I'll just show you. I'm gonna we're gonna take one circle, and we're gonna copy and paste it and paste it and paste it and paste it and paste, it, paste it. So we're gonna get a couple there, just a little. Make sure they're kind of aligned to the size that you put them in, because then it won't look that even. So, so. So I'm going to put it, I can't see this one, oh it's so laggy, just going to try and minimize it and come back, yeah. Uh, that, um, so I'm going to press shift and then I'm going to click on all of them, I'm going to copy it and then paste it, so you've got all these, you don't have to do it again. Okay, kind of, you, you can take more time on this, so I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to hold shift and then I'm going to click on every single one. Right click and do what I did before, format object. I'm going to do fill, um, okay, you might have to do it alone, but I'll just pause it and we're going to make everything a kind of grey colour and we are going to make it line colour no line but and we're gonna make a reflection. Yeah, so that so it should come up with that. Um I'll pause it and do everything. Hey YouTube, I, hey YouTube, I started again. As you can see, everyone has a reflection and they're all the same color. So I just started again, just did three of these and then I copied and you know what. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into animations and we're going to click on this animation pane. I'm going to click on this first one and you... I will choose darken should work yeah so it will make that kind of effect or it could have color pulse but that's what I'm gonna do color pulse so I'm gonna do this just do it for every single one so I'll pause it again and oh uh, never mind it's number three. Oh no it's annoying. Color pulse. Um, so you can change it to whatever you want, but I recommend this one. So I'm, we are going to make it do something else. Color pulse. We just do it for every single one. We have the animation 
bow on the side for a reason. Um, go back. Um, so it's this one. Uh, so color pulse. Click on this. Color pulse. So what we are going to do now, we're going to click after previous and do it for every single one. After previous that is. After. After. So this means it will start after it. So we are going to make it do it two times so we'll, I'll show you what it looks like so far it looks like this there that that that's it so far so now we're gonna go into um, this effect options and we can change this you can if you want I'm gonna change it to yeah should be right um no triggers effect we can change this so i can i can choose more colors so i don't know i haven't tried any of this before so because i really don't like anything else except for white so i'm not going to change it but you can if you want so now i I'm going to make it a new slide. But we needed to go to here first. So once we go into here, we're going to go to transitions. After advanced slides, so it should be advanced slide. After, we're going to make it. We're going to make it just 50 seconds. 0.5. 0.5, yeah, 0.5. Um, so, so this is where you can add your OS. I'm not gonna do that, um, cause I can't really bother right now. So, I'm just gonna make pattern, picture, file. Uh, I'm not sure. So it should be like this. Um, yeah, let's view it. So it should start attack automatically. Um, so there you go. It takes 0 0.5 seconds. And then there we go. Um, so that's the end of the loading. So I can change it to just like, um, after. Like so one second so once the loading does finish it will stay there and after one second it will close itself um lots of people will just skip the loading if you have an os or doing something very important so get a rectangle put it over there it has this format shape um slide background fill we're gonna go to line color no line okay now we're gonna hyperlink this back to the same slide oh and we're gonna right click it and send to back yeah and these objects should appear in the front. F5. So I'll try clicking and yep, it, as you guess, it's not working. It'll just continue the loading as it was. But if you do click at the end of the slide, I think it won't. Yeah, it still works. Thanks for watching YouTube.
Um, see you in the next tutorial.